Hey everybody, I will do binary tree nodes from the admin select section of SQL and Hacker Ring. So we're given this table with the columns N and P. N is the value that's an integer, for example, one, two, or three, and P is the parent of that value. If we scroll down and see the diagram, this is what it looks like. So we have nodes, those circles, and they're connected. So that means a node can have children. In this case, five has two and eight as children. And then at the end, we have nodes that have no children. Those are called the leaf nodes. And the very first node is called the root node at the top here in this diagram. So we're asked to compile this list of descriptions for each value, for each node. For example, the value one, node of the value one. Is it a leaf, a inner, or a root? In this case, it is a leaf. Because if you look at the diagram, one has no children. Okay. So let me show you side by side. These are the rows. So first row, N1, has the parent 2. It's better that you look at the parent first to make sense of what it looks like visually. So let's look at all the values for P. So we have 2, we have 8, and we have 5. So that means that 2 is a parent to 1, and 2 is also a parent to 3. In the graph here on the right-hand side, it means that 2 is a parent to 1, you can see here, and 2 is a parent to 3. So two has the children one and three. And if you go on, eight is a parent to six and eight is a parent to nine. So that means eight has the children six and nine. And then finally, five is a parent to two and a parent to eight. So five is the parent of two and the parent of eight. So that's what it looks like visually. So we are asked to describe each of these nodes, whether they are root, the very first at the top, whether there are leaves, they're, in this diagram they're at the bottom usually, and they have no children, or they're inner, meaning they have both a parent and a child. Now getting back, let's choose my SQL. So I'm gonna do a select star from VSD. Let's look at the very first case, root. So we want to display the value, that's n, followed by the description. Now the description, I'm going to use a case here. So let me split this into multiple lines so you can better see. So after that, I'm going to use a case. And for root, that's the easy one because what is a root? It has no parent. If you find the example here, the very last row is 5, the P being no. So if the root has no parent, the value of P is no. So here we're going to say when P is null then root so if it's not a root that means it's either in between or someone at the bottom that isn't a parent to anyone so i'm going to focus on the p value here so if i do a select for the p values and a compile list of values for p that are non null we can see two eight and five and then if i take the value of n and check hey is this value of n contained in this list of parents if it's not in the list of parents, that means it's a leaf, right? It's not a parent to any node. Otherwise, if it's a parent to any of these nodes, it's got to be inner. So let's do it here when the value of n in some list. Now I want to take the values of p and group them. If I do a select p from BST here, I'm going to get the values of p, but they can be repeated. So what I want to do is I want to group by p so that I eliminate any duplicates. So I get all the parents. I also want to get rid of no. So if I want to get rid of no, I can add a where here. p is not no. Now this will give us a list of parents, right? In this case, for this example, 2, 8, and 5. So we're going to check, is n in this list? If that is the case, then that means it's inner because n is a parent, right? It was in the list of parents. Otherwise, else case, we did not find n in the list of parents. Therefore, it does not have any children. It is a leaf node. We're going to say leaf here. Okay. So first we check if it's root, if that's the case, the parent is no. Okay, if it's not root, that means, okay, I'm going to check the list of parents to see if that value is there. If that is the case, that means that value is a parent to someone, therefore it's inner. 
But if it's not apparent to anyone, it, it's got to be a leaf, the else case. Okay, just to finalize, I have to order by the value of the node, that is the value of n. So here at the end, I'm going to add order by n. Let's go submit code. 